Hey there Marvel, this is Agent M again back with Matt Fraction who's probably going to hit me with a hammer real soon, uh, but that's okay, we're having fun here, I guess. Um, we're talking about Thor today, uh, Matt you're jumping on Thor in a couple issues, right? What's the story for Thor going forward? What, what does it mean to be Thor after Asgard is a pile of flaming wreckage in uh, in Oklahoma? Um, Are you from Oklahoma in this sense? No, I've been near Oklahoma. I'm, I, I lived in Missouri for an also, awful long time, mm. which is not so far from Oklahoma. Yeah, I, also, I suspect I might be the first Thor writer like actually from Tornado Alley that has mm. like an understanding of what tornadoes in that part of the world are like. The art team is going to be new, coming in with your arc? Yeah. Um, who's on art? Uh, Pascal Ferry. Pretty sweet. Yeah, it's pretty great. I think he's amazing. I think he's so amazing. And uh, the, the stuff he's cooking up is just going to you know, rock your socks off. Can you give a hint as to any of the villains that are going to show up? Um, hmm, well, let me put it like this. Let me see. I, I want to get off of Earth. I want to go up the world tree and down the world tree. Um, I want to get back to the spacey. You know, my, my, my yeah. Thor is very much like a, a you know colossal science fiction uh, hero. But most intriguingly, what happens when one of the spaces on the world tree is in our space, leaving it empty. So mm -hmm. if Asgard is in Midgard, what is happening in Asgard? And that is a big question, and the answer is not good things. <laughs> and uh, uh, get your hammers ready. Guys, keep your eyes open for Thor. I, I know, it's gonna hurt really badly. As soon as the camera stop rolling, I'm gonna be on the floor. Oh God. I'm getting like phantom pains from just you're thinking you're about better, it. You better, you better cut. Oh God! Just read Thor, please. Uh, uh, ah! Marvel, your universe.